Neurology quiz number 66. What are the clinical features of Lennox-Gastaut syndrome? Lennox-Gastaut syndrome is a rare and severe type of childhood epilepsy. It is characterized by multiple seizure types, characteristic EEG changes, and intellectual impairment. Etiology, the syndrome is of two types, secondary or symptomatic. This constitutes 75% of the cases. Causes include tuberous sclerosis, developmental brain malformations, meningitis slash encephalitis, birth injury and trauma, as well as metabolic causes. About 20 to 30 percent of patients who have lennox gastaut syndrome have a prior history of West syndrome. The prognosis is worse in the symptomatic group. Number two, idiopathic or cryptogenic. No underlying pathology is detected in this group and these patients may have a later onset. These figures show brain malformations that can cause secondary lennox gastaut syndrome. On the left is polymicrogyria and on the right is eulogyria, which refers to shrunken cortex due to hypoxic ischemic brain injury. Clinical features, lennox gastaut syndrome accounts for 2-5% to of childhood epilepsies and is responsible for 10% of epilepsy cases under the age of 5. It is more common in males. Seizures, these begin in early childhood, usually between 1 to 7 years of age. Peak onset is between 3 to 5 years. The children experience multiple seizure types, which include tonic, atonic, or drop attacks, atypical absence, myoclonic, and generalized tonic-clonic. Tonic seizures are most common and often occur during sleep with associated aneurysis. Atypical absence is the second most common. Atonic seizures or drop attacks are seen in more than 50% of patients and cause recurrent falls and injuries. Patients with lennox gastaut syndrome often experience non-convulsive status. This can be associated with staring, apathy, stupor and unresponsiveness and exacerbates developmental delay and cognitive impairment. Initial milestones are not significantly affected. However, once seizures start, there is developmental delay intellectual impairment, behavioral issues, and decreased learning ability. The declines worsens with age and patients show psychomotor regression. Behavioral problems include irritability, hyperactivity, and psychosis, and may be mistaken for ongoing seizures. Memory and cognition can be normal in up to 20% of patients. Workup includes EEG. Here the background shows generalized slowing and bursts of spike in wave discharges at 1.5 to 2.5 Hz, often with an interior predominance. And in addition, there are paroxysms of fast activity at 10 to 20 Hz. Fast activity is most often detected during a sleep EEG. A video EEG is useful in capturing the different seizure types. Workup also includes search for an underlying cause. For example, it includes attention to skin manifestations, suggesting a neurocutaneous syndrome. MRI is useful for the diagnosis of congenital malformations, postnatal disorders, and neurocutaneous syndromes. Lab studies include routine labs as well as serum ammonia, lactic acid, serum amino acids, acyl carnitine profile, and urine organic acids, among others. These figures show two EEG that demonstrate the slow spike in wave discharges typical of lennox gastaut syndrome. As mentioned, they often have an interior predominance. This figure shows generalized paroxysmal fast activity in a patient with lennox gastaut syndrome and tonic seizures. This figure shows the cutaneous manifestation adenoma sebaceum in a patient with tuberous sclerosis. Tuberous sclerosis is a secondary cause of lennox gastaut syndrome. Management. Anti-seizure medication treatment is challenging as seizures are frequent and often resistant to treatment. Patients almost always need polytherapy which further impairs quality of life. The focus should be on overall quality of life and not necessarily on the seizure count and rare or even regular breakthrough seizures may be preferred over cognitive and sedating side effects of medications. Valproic acid is frequently used as a first-line medication as it is a broad-spectrum agent. It has not been demonstrated that any one agent is superior in the management of, these, of this condition.
Other medications that are effective include lamotrigine, clobazam, topiramate, cannabidiol, as well as felbamate and rafenamide, which can decrease seizure frequency by 50% in 30-60% to 60 of patients. High-dose clobazam is particularly effective in reducing drop attacks. Drop attacks secondary to tonic slash atonic seizures causing injury are a significant factor affecting quality of life. Preventing injuries by using a helmet and changes in the living environment with guidance from occupational therapy are important. This figure shows a patient with lennox gastro syndrome wearing a helmet with a face guard to protect against injury from atonic seizures. Non-pharmacologic treatments include ketogenic diet, VNS, corpus callosotomy, and resective surgery. Ketogenic diet, studies have shown that a 50% reduction in seizures can occur in 40-50% to of the patients who are treated with a ketogenic diet, but implementing the diet can be challenging. VNS, seizure reduction with VNS in lennox gastro syndrome is comparable to its response in other epilepsy types with reported responder rates of more than 50% in about half the patients. However, VNS is less effective for atonic seizures and may be more effective for myoclonus. Corpus callosotomy can be useful in preventing injurious falls due to tonic and atonic seizures. Resective surgery. All patients with structural abnormalities on brain imaging should be evaluated for resective epilepsy surgery. Prognosis. Overall, the outcome is poor for patients with lennox gastro syndrome. Patients who have a history of preceding West syndrome have a worse outcome for both cognitive function and seizure control. In general, patients with a secondary or symptomatic type fare worse. The frequent seizures, intellectual impairment, and complex treatment regimens require substantial effort from the patient and family. Most patients require 24-7 support in some form. Patients and families will benefit from assessment and help from social and rehabilitation services.